is an urgent message from potterblog.com. The United States government expects the COVID-19 outbreak to likely last five more years. This information comes from two U.S. government sol solicitations that explicitly state the government is preparing for immediate coronavirus response needs as well as making assessments for longer term needs, likely up to five years for these PPE items, that's personal protective equipment. These are the solicitations, one that is released today. And if we go down to the very bottom of it, you can see the exact same statement where it says likely up to five years. Uh, there was a, also a solicitation released two days earlier. And in this one, they buried that language in a Word document. And here is that Word document. You can see it's the same language. They're planning for longer term needs, likely up to five years. So the CDC has already said they're expecting a switch to telemedicine for most people, meaning you'll likely call 211 because they're going to uh, uh, they're going to have a contract, most likely with the Poison Control Center. You'll call in, tell them your symptoms, or you can either probably call your personal care physician. They don't want people to go to the hospitals or the clinics because they'll be breeding grounds for coronavirus infections. And in that regard, this might be the single most important risk mitigation item that we've added to our, uh, to our uh, pantheon, if you will, of risk mitigation items we show further below. But it's a blood oxygen meter. And it's so important because it may indicate the severity of the lung infection and help differentiate between the flu and coronavirus and a potential quarantine trip. You know, if you've got just a cough and a cold and you're not in a bad state, you don't want to be tossed in with a bunch of other people who have the coronavirus. You also want to be able to give your doctor or a nurse or a nurse practitioner, whoever you're talking to, accurate information about your current condition. And that is why we've added this uh, uh, blood oxygen meter. Fortunately, they're relatively inexpensive. They work off of uh, AAA batteries. We also have a uh, blood, uh, blood pressure cuff that we use. We use, this, we use an Omron uh, blood pressure cuff. We've had lots of luck with it. Uh, we really like it. So, but this may be the single most important thing because uh, this will give you more likely your best indicator of how severe your case may be and whether it's just a cold or whether you've actually lost lung function and need to go uh, take care of an emergency situation. And we also have a complete list of our other risk mitigation items uh, we've discussed these before, but they're up here for in our link and our source link and data. So you can read all this stuff for yourself is right here. And probably the most concerning thing is that uh, the CDC wants you to tie a T-shirt over your face. This is not a joke. There are they're expecting such a unavailability of face masks that uh, they are looking for manufacturers who can take t-shirt material and turn it into face masks for the public to use. I don't know what else to say, except pray.